Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on factorising a quadratic expression using a substitution. So we want to fully factorise this expression here and it looks quite complicated. But if you stare at it a bit, it kind of looks a bit like a quadratic. It's something squared plus eight something, that same something, plus 12. That feels a bit quadratic-y. Now one approach we could use this kind of question is if we have that same expression in the bracket, we can make a substitution. So let's let some other variable, let's say y, as long as it's not reusing that x because we've already used x, be equal to that bracketed expression. And the idea is, is now when we substitute this in, so the y in, it's gonna give you a simple expression in terms of y because these are both the same thing. So they'll both be replaced with y. So then we get well, if y is 3x minus 2, that's y squared. So you get y squared plus 8, and then this thing here, again, is y. So 8y plus 12. And this expression is nicer because this is much easier to factorise than the original expression. So let's factorise this. We need two numbers that add to give 8 and times to give 12. What two numbers add to give eight times to give 12? Well, six and two. So we know that we can factorize this as y plus six and y plus two. And if you don't know this process, please look at my earlier videos on how we factorize expressions like this. Now at this point, we want to get a factorization that's just in terms of x. Y was just something we made up for the purposes of helping us with the question. Y doesn't actually exist. So we need to replace the y back for 3x minus 2. So that y is 3x minus 2 plus the 6. And then we've got this y here. So open bracket, y is 3x minus 2. And then we've got that plus 2 there. And then if we just simplify each of these brackets by collecting like terms, well, the minus two plus the six is plus four. So we have three X plus four. And then the minus two plus two, they just cancel. So you're just left with the three X. Now in general, when we have an unbracketed term and a bracketed term, we should always put the unbracketed term first. So make sure you write three X brackets, three X plus four, and we end up with this. Now I should point out, it would have been perfectly acceptable to just expand out this original expression and then we would have got 9x squared plus 12x and then you could have factorised it because you have a common term in both these terms. But there's something nice about spotting that you have this common bracketed term of 3x minus 2 and then using that substitution because that can help you with harder questions where it wouldn't be so easy to just expand out and then factorise again.